Hello students, today we start the new lesson. The topic name is my body. For this lesson we want to discuss internal organs, external organs, functions of both internal and external organs. So first we move to what is internal organs. This type of organs we are unable to see them. The type of organs are called ex internal organs. Example, heart, brain, liver, lung, stomach, kidney, spleen, colon, small intestine, etc. Then next we move to what is external organs. This type of organs we can see with our naked eyes. That type of organs are called external organs. For example, our eyes, nose, hands and legs. The first main internal organ is brain. So brain is an important organ of our body. Brain is protected by the skull. It has three main parts, forebrain, midbrain, hindbrain. So next image, just see the image carefully. The brown color, light brown color denotes cerebrum. That is called forebrain. Deep brown color denotes midbrain. Then pink color denotes medulla oblongata. Brain is the commanding center of our body. It performs various actions. For example, moving our hands, sitting or walking. Human brains weighs about 1.3 kg. The next important organ is lungs. They are pair of spongy sac like organs located in the chest region. It help us to breathe. When we breathe in, intake oxygen from air through the nose and pass it to the lungs. In this category, lungs expands, become big. This process is called inhalation. So what is inhalation? Intake of oxygen from air through the nose and pass it to the lungs. In this category, lungs become expands, becomes big. When we breathe out, we give out carbon dioxide from the lungs through the nose into the air. In this category, lungs contract. The lungs becomes very small. This is called exhalation. So what is exhalation? We give out carbon dioxide from the lungs through the nose into the air. In this category, lungs contract. Lungs becomes very small. This is called exhalation. The next internal organ is heart. Heart is a pumping muscular organ. Its size abouts our own fist. The heart pumps blood to all parts of the body. It lies between the lungs, almost in the center of the chest. It is fully made up of muscles. Heart beats about 72 times in a minute. It has four chambers, two auricles and two ventricles. For the right chambers, it's having right atrium and right ventricle. For the left chambers, it's having left atrium and left ventricle. The next internal organ is stomach. Stomach is a J-shaped bag found below the lungs. It breaks down food items and gives us energy. It contains a special juice to break down food items into energy. The next important internal organ is kidneys. We have two kidneys. They are in bean shaped organs. It purifies bloods and filters excess water and toxins. Just see the image carefully. The renal artery supplies impure blood to the kidney and renal vein collects the pure blood and it again returns back to purified blood to the body. Waste materials are collected in the bladder finally. We excrete the waste material in the form of urine. So the next important internal organ is bones and muscles. Our body is made up of bones and muscles. The portion that feel very hard that is called bone. The portion that we feel very hard that is a bone. The portion that we feel very soft that is a muscle. So bones gives us shape. They are the framework of our body. It also protects the internal organs of our body. If you want strong bones, we need to have healthy food items. So for example, milk, cheese and eggs. For muscles, they are the soft parts of our body. Muscles covers the bones in our body. They help us to move different parts of our body. For example, tightening of muscles or loosening of muscles like a rubber band. For strong muscles, we need exercise and stay active. The human body is having 206 bones, 17 muscles are functioning while smiling and 43 muscles are functioning while frowning. If you have any doubt and suggestions, please give your feedback to the WhatsApp group. Thank you.